What's up guys? So it's been over 16 weeks since I put out my last video and I decided it's about time that I get on back. Four some odd years ago, I decided to go back to school. I started off at the local community college and then I transferred up to a university. So long story short, in the beginning of August of this year, I graduated with my bachelor's in nursing. And to be completely honest, I've been working my ass off ever since. But now that things have slowed down a little bit, I'm back to making more content. So anyway, let's get right down to the topic of this video. One of the most used tools in my tool arsenal is this right here, the Speed Square. I use this thing on damn near every single project that comes out of my shop. This one in particular is a Swanson Speed Square, and I've had this thing for years. The big problem that I have though is this thing is a pain in the ass to try to store somewhere. It doesn't fit in a pocket, it doesn't fit on the tool belt or in the tool belt really, really well, and you don't want to just leave it in your tool bag because then you have to carry the thing around everywhere. And with as much use as this, this thing has, you want to have it with you damn near all the time. So I've been trying to find a solution for this problem for a long, long time. And here it is. This is the Easy Square Holder. This one was sent to me by a gentleman named Hans from EasySquareHolder.com. I'm going to post a link right down in the description. So the Easy Square Holder, it holds a 7 inch speed square. It slides in and out, just like that. It weighs virtually nothing. It has clips on both sides, so it can either be a left hand or right hand mount. It even comes with a little space for a carpenter pencil, right there. And even threw in a carpenter pencil sharpener. And then there's this part right here, hopefully you can see that, made in the United States. So I got my tool rig on right here, and It'll fit in here okay, but the problem is I'm gonna have this pouch filled up with screws or nails or whatever kind of wrenches that I'm gonna need for my project. Same thing over here on this side, all right? It just becomes a pain in the ass to have it in here along with everything else I'm gonna have in this pocket. These pockets down here are just too small and it tends to fall out. So what I do, I like to wear it a little bit low. I'm gonna put it down here, just like that. Part goes in right there, and then we're good to go. Super easy to take out, just like that, ready to use it, and then straight back in there. Now, something else that's really cool, if you own a business or you like to become a distributor for these things, you can actually get them customized in different colors and you can get your logo across it as well. If you're looking for a really cool Christmas idea for that tool guy or gal, you can actually get this as a gift box combo. It comes with the holder, it comes with the square, and a really sweet looking presentation box that is going to look awesome under your tree. I am super, super excited to put this into work. I've been wanting one of these for years and years. I'm glad that someone finally came up with a really sweet design that's super simple. It looks awesome. I might get in a couple different colors. Well, you know, who knows? <laughs> but uh, I would like to thank Hans from uh, easysquareholder.com for sending me this. And again, I'm gonna have a link down in the description to his website so you can uh, go ahead and order you. And uh, I'll let your buddies on the job site one of these because trust me, they are going to love this thing. It's super, super sweet. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, whines, bitches, moans, and groans? Leave comments down below. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, hope you guys liked that video and gave it a big thumbs up. That's the best way to let me know that you just like the video and that content you want to keep on seeing. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that big red button, one of those sides down below. Now once you do that, that's going to be a real good way for you to know when I upload more content to this channel. If you have a question or there's something you, that you would like to see, let me know down in the comments below or you can also send me a message. You can also check out the Project Woodworks fan page on Facebook and I went ahead and linked a bunch of other cool places that you might want to check out as well. For you business owners, if you have a tool or a product that you would like to send me so that I can do a totally unbiased video review, let me know down in the comments below. You can also send me a message. Again, thank you for watching. My name is Chris and I'll see you in the next video.